That's Prime Minister Modi who is now meeting ISRO Chief S. Somnath. He's been welcomed by the ISRO Chief Team Chandrayaan 3, all of them. This is a photo op that is happening with the Prime Minister. Pallav, how do you see this? Oh, these are moments of joy and the Prime Minister hugging the ISRO Chief what a contrast it was earlier from 2019 to now and uh, a smiling Prime Minister greeting with the scientists at ISRO, all the top Chandrayaan 3 leadership alongside with Prime Minister. What a magnificent photo op and uh, uh, he is going to go into the flying saucer shaped building from where the mission operations for Chandrayaan 3 uh, Vikram lander were controlled. And it's a, it's a moment of joy for ISRO, for India and also for the world because very rarely do you see a leader of a country sharing joy with the team which executed flawlessly a mission which started four years ago and then in from July 14th till 23rd of August and it's an ongoing mission because there is 14 days of science that needs to be done. It, it is a glorious moment. This picture will be relished and uh, seen for a very long time. And this is not the first time Prime Minister Modi has gone to Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, he always eggs their morale, gives them a boost and I'm certainly hoping that uh, the country would show immense amount of respect to the team Chandrayaan and offer something which would be absolutely memorable for the country because that will also raise the morale of other institutions. I have said several times uh, that the Indian Space Research Organization is an island of excellence in a sea of mediocrity. The mediocrity is coming down, but the island of excellence is excelling more and more. So we will see uh, better and better missions and the Prime Minister himself going to the tracking station from where Chandrayaan to Vikram lander was controlled for uh, uh, landing is a, is a glorious moment and, and what I couldn't have, there is nothing better the country could have expected that the leader of the world's largest democracy straight from a foreign visit comes and shares time with scientists who have bought, brought glory for the country. Absolutely top class. I am feeling very happy. I am feeling almost as if I am part of this uh, team which is there. Now you can see. Father, these are I think visuals emerging of uh, Prime Minister Modi seeing the model, yes, isn't it? Yes, they are showing him uh, uh, scaled model of the Vikram lander and he is going around the Vikram lander. You can see the legs and from this height you can imagine and then he will probably be shown the different instruments which is what probably is right now he is showing the instrument which goes down to measure earthquakes and the temperature. So they have a small uh, instructional time where the Prime Minister is being briefed about the details and there you can see uh, ISRO chief Mr. S. Somanath showing the Prime Minister uh, how the ramp is and how the Vikram rover came down. Uh, for most people it may seem the Vikram rover, it does a 100 meter sprint I would say. It, it walks on the moon and does a moon walk like Michael Jackson but at a princely speed of 1 centimeter per second. So it is a really slow walk but that is how it is. You have a very difficult task to control and monitor it. The Prime Minister is being shown different instruments at uh, the ISRO complex from where the mission was controlled and we can see Mr. S. Somanath who is a first rate rocket engineer and a great leader for the Indian Space Research Organization uh, briefing uh, the Prime Minister and about the various instrumentation and the Vikram lander and you can also see Mr. Sankaran there, the head of the UR Rao Satellite Center on your right and uh, Mr. Vera Mathuel, the project director for Chandrayaan 3 can also be seen. 
So they were the people who made sure that India learnt from the mistakes and then flew back to the moon and had a flawless mission.